All right, in this video, we're going to add our 3D animations into the scene and uh, begin uh, rendering them out. Um, so let's do that. So we're going to go here, and we already know, like I already dragged it in a while ago. If you don't recall, I'll just show you. You go back to your folder, whichever one it is, that you have a specific folder. Remember, I created one for enemy. But here you go. I'm going to, I basically... I'm going to delete this just so you know. This is where I decided I wanted my scene to be. Remember, we talked about that. So I'm going to drag this in. Alt S. You can see how he moves. Okay, so that's good. So we already did a long shot. So I'm going to press Escape. Maybe now I want uh, in my storyboard, I have a shot. Um, let, let's go ahead and enter. You know, I'm going to use the Alt button, go down. So we're kind of introducing this character. So maybe I want him to be like a strong, tough character. I'm going to go all the way down here and maybe just like this. I'm going to place it, okay, where I would like to go. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my cinematics folder. I'm going to go and reopen my sequence, which is here. And what I usually do is I keep this scene and the camera pretty much the same. But I will show you a couple of tricks that I didn't mention in the last video. Because uh, the camera settings can be changed. So make sure you select the details panel because you're maybe still on the movie render queue. And the other thing you need to decide is how long is this going to be roughly. So the last scene we had recorded was about 11 seconds. I'm going to change this to about 6. Okay. And I'm going to change both to 6. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new camera. All right. And as you can see, it places it here. And maybe I want to adjust this. And remember I was saying, well, you may want to now change something related to the camera. So what I'm going to do is instead of having manual, because if we zoom in close to the face, what will what will happen is you will lose kind of focus. So I'm going to change it to disable. Now, as you get more familiar uh, with filming, you may want to get fancy with this, but for now we're keeping everything default. 16 by 9, universal zoom, but disable this. Now we're not going to play around with the aperture and all that. Just just don't do it, okay? Uh, after you've done one, you can start talking to me and I can help you or look up some other ideas. All right? So, like I said, I'm going to do a short zoom up to this guy's face. 